Hello and welcome. I'm Corey Camasso, and this is Critical Political Thinking. Dr. Li Wenyang, the hero of Wuhan. In mid-December, Dr. Li, an ophthalmologist who worked as a physician at the Wuhan Central Hospital, began to notice an influx of patients showing symptoms very close to severe acute respiratory syndrome, also known as SARS. However, some of these patients had already contracted SARS and were still showing these major symptoms. This led Dr. Lee to organize a video conference among his peers, explaining his findings and warning of a potential pending outbreak. It is believed that the Chinese government found out about this video conference and in an attempt to restrict the communication of the origins of the disease, summoned Dr. Lee on January 3rd. They warned him to silence and forced him to release a statement that he had caused false alarm and that the government had the issue well in control. However, there was nothing under control and Dr. Lee did return to the front lines and continued to save the Chinese people from this terrifying viral outbreak. He later contracted COVID-19 and would succumb to the virus on February 7th of 2020. Upon his death, in the release of his original attempt to warn the Chinese people. The Chinese people and the world demanded an inquiry into the events that led to the retracting of his statement and his death. It was later deemed that the Chinese government would issue a very rare apology to his legacy and to his family, stating that his attempts were true and valid. This has sparked the Chinese free speech debate in more ways than could ever have been imagined. And Dr. Li has come to the front lines as one of the primary founders of this viral outbreak and is always going to be known as Dr. Li Wenyang, the hero of Wuhan. <laughs>